Alright guys, here what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the expected value and the variance using our Casio calculator from this discrete probability distribution. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to enter this data to our calculator and to do that we want to put our calculator in stats mode. So we're going to go over to our mode button, we're going to press 2 and we're just going to select option 1. Notice we don't have a frequency column or, or in this case a probability row. So we're going to turn that on. So we're going to go shift mode. So we're going to enter our setup. We're going to use our dial button. We're going to dial down to stats. Three. Turn it on. And now we've got our score and we've got our frequency. So we're just going to hit that through. So we're going to go one equals two equals three equals four equals five equals using our arrow dials to get ourselves back to the top and we're going to put our data in so that our probability is 0.2 I can type it as a fraction if I wanted to so 15 over 100 and it converts it to a decimal for me anyway 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.15 put all our data in um, I can use my arrows to go back up and then we just hit clear. If for some reason we need to go back and check our data, we can go shift. All our stats options are here in shift one. So when we go one, you can see number two is data. That brings our data table back up. So we can go through and edit anything that we need to. Um, what we're going to do, remember that the expected value and the mean of a data set are the exact same thing. So to quickly go through two ways to find the expected value, you can go, so again, shift one, go into our stats, and we're gonna go into our, our variables, our variance. You can go four, and X bar, option two is our mean, and when we go our mean, we get 2.85, which is what we expect from, um, we can see from the question. The other way that we could find the expected value, if we go shift one, and what we can go is we can go into the summary or the sum. And when we get to the sum, that kind of looks like our expected value, the sum of all the scores multiplied by their probability. So if we go two, and press equals, you can see I get 2.85 again. So there are two different ways we can find the expected value. To calculate the variance, again, we're gonna talk two ways to do our variance. Remember variance is to calculate variance, one way we can do it. Um, here you can see this is, this is um, you get the probability times one minus the expected value, and then you square it. And another way you can do it is you square the score and multiply it by its probability. Add that with the square of two, multiply it by its probability, add that with the square of three times its probability all the way through. And then you subtract at the very end 2.85 squared and that's what we're about to do so when we go to stat mode on our calculator so shift one we're going to go into that sum and ex squared this first option here that is the value of 1 squared times 0.2 plus 2 squared times 0.15 plus 3 squared times 0.4 that that option where it's the expected value is the score squared times the probability and we've got to take away from it the expected value squared. So going shift one again, going to three, going to picking our expected value and squaring, squaring it. And we press equals. And yeah, you can see I can get my variance. Um, remembering that also the standard deviation is just the square root of variance. So if we square root our answer, we get 1.2757 so on. The other way we can actually use the standard deviation. So going to shift one, go um, into variations of four, and there is the standard deviation. So we go three equals, there's our standard deviation. And then obviously if I square our standard deviation, I get back to variance. Hopefully that helps you uh, quickly with your calculators, remembering you've got to clear any data before you start it.